Okay, so I seen four 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 on the clock. And um so if you seen four 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 maybe this is for you. Who knows? I'm gonna do a short reading, I'm not even gonna do it like I normally do it. I think I'll just do a short one really quick. Sorry, my knees are bleeding my cat totally just tried to jump on me. She really wanted up here a bit. Failed attempt. So, I apologize if I'm acting a little weird. I just got blood running all over my leg and knee. It's raining here. Another reason why I kind of wanted to do it. Kind of like a clearing, you know? Is what I kind of feel like when it rains. It's God's way of clearing things. Getting rid of things. Helping us cleanse. Six of Swords, Air, Aquarius. Move from problem and be mindful of what you take. Hmm. I'm not going to take those. I dropped them. I like the blood all over my cards. This one is a king of wands. Use the dynamic energy of a leader. And then queen of swords. It says, your clear communication expresses what's best for all. So. I'm feeling like. So. You're in a situation. Whoever. And, by the way, I want you to look at these cards, okay? This is no joke. Six. Five. Four. I think four, four, four on the clock. So, to me, is somebody's in a situation and you see it that it's time to get out and nobody's taking the lead or neither of you are trying to do anything and it's easier to sit comfortable because sometimes it's hard to make that move especially when you grow uncomfortable
don't stay in a situation just because you don't think you think that all your options are gone are done your options aren't done you may feel like maybe you've missed out I can understand that feeling you ain't missed out what is meant to be will be and what's not won't be and if it was and you screw it up it's okay because God goes ahead of us remember if you look in scripture there's a scripture where it talks about how God will go before us he already knows that we're not perfect he already knows we're gonna make mistakes but that's his grace his grace is sufficient especially knowing that it is renewed every day and he has a plan way ahead of ours because he already knows everything that's going to happen and yeah ace of swords air speak your mind to solve your problems Sometimes it's hard to speak your mind because people don't, not everybody's a good communicator and it takes a lot of work. Like my cat who's going to pretend like she's not going to jump on my lap and now she's going to jump. Come here. Come here. In the back. Come, come here. Sorry, I got two kittens. They're a mess. They go the sun up, the sun down plan. So it's crazy. Okay, the world. It says everything you have worked for is coming together. Those are three, by the way. I'm just saying. There's signs. God's trying to show you signs. I don't know if you guys have figured out or have been following um, my group or anything I've posted about the numbers or whatever, the synchronicities that I've been seeing. Um, Scorpio. It says a five of cups, water, Scorpio. Feel your grief, but know that things will get better. Because they will. And sometimes when we're so far in it and we keep digging ourselves out and we take like five steps just to take like two of them back, turn around and face your shadow. Stop being scared of it. Stop being scared of the unknown. Because there's something really good there waiting for you. And. Yeah, I should probably take my own advice. But I don't believe there's really anything good right there. I think I'm probably just... But I do believe there is something good for you there. Open it. Turn around and face your shadow. Sorry, guys. I know, I know. Every time I do it, it just... I know I need to quit. And I know it goes back there. That's not the point. It's any fun to raise it. doesn't do that too. I can't believe I'm sitting out in this conversation about it. Five of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus. Life is harsh right now. Look around. Help is at hand. I would have to agree with that.
Ayan. Ace of Cups, water. Open your heart and receive the emotions around you. Sometimes that's hard. Six of Wands, fire Leo. You have earned every one of your successes. Okay. Nine of Cups, water, and Pisces. Everything has turned out well into a your success, but it's turned around in reverse. I need two more. Ace of Wands, take action on your ideas. Fire. Because some of you are just wasting yourselves away and making idols and stop worrying about what God should be worried about. We have to trust. The magician, you can make your imagination real. So, there's 9-11 right there. Aries, be ready for the opportunity you've worked for. I'm going to tell you this. It is really easy to get lost in your relationships. Because you want to be the best version of yourself. Well, whatever, whatever. I get that. But sometimes you have to accept when to fight, when to fold. Even though my YouTube channel is retarded, this channel brings everybody's missing the point. Everybody's like, oh, the cards are bad. Okay, we know. We know. But so is every cuss word that comes out of our mouths. So. Because this is witchcraft. I'm just saying. Anything can be twisted and turned. It's all about where you're going back to the main source. Not who the main source that's the lord and i've had a lot in my life go on and um regardless of the cards regardless of all this retarded people or whatever what have you i still go back to god because he's my main source that's my my I'm just gonna bring it. These are the situation cards. So we got a. This is what signs you could be messing with and dealing with, or a sign. You could be dealing with a Aquarius. A Taurus. A Leo. Scorpio. A Pisces. 
So, just saying. Those are what you're dealing with. Those are the signs you're dealing with. So, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, and I see 444 on the bar. Hi, baby. Uh, sorry, I usually she chips on my back. There's a closet kind of thing. These are the situation cards. This will kind of let us know, kind of maybe. But. 4 4 4 on the clock, I've seen. 9 11 in the cards. 5 4 3 also. Any of those, this could be for you. So. You need to get down. He's on the table. He loves sitting on top of the table. Drives me nuts. I bet as a kid, I swear it. <laughs> but he's such a good cat. Like, an awesome cat. I mean, I might be biased just because I lost my mates, but. I don't know. Let's just draw. Grip. Anchor chains way down. So, there's a heavy decision you're about to have to let make because you're getting overloaded. You have too much going on. Definitely. So, that's where that one is. Sooner or later, Let's just say this. You're going to want to make a choice before you're made to make a choice. Because the choice that you're made to make might not be the choice you want to make. And it may leave you with options you didn't. It's time to make a decision now. And who cares what everybody else says? They're not you. They're not your life. They're not paying your bills. They're certainly not letting you, and you're certainly not laying your head down at your pillow at night. So, just saying. Ascension. Spiritual path awakening. Because maybe God keeps telling you that that relationship that you're with is unevenly yoked. Because that is real. Because you got Archangel Michael for protection. So, it's something about to have to do. But you're having a really hard time letting some things go. And it doesn't help when they return. So. Get down. You're sitting on my computer, bro. He's a wonderful cat, but you know. These are the cards that I got. Retaliation, punish, payback, revenge, stop. 
so maybe you didn't want to do all that because that back and forth game gets old I know it does stop they think that it's you because it's easier to make it look like it's you he wants you to negotiate and pretty much sacrifice what you believe or maybe who you are don't do it twin flames you know we can have the good and the bad just as much as the yin and yang with anything stop no no sir no no sir don't ever allow yourself to be put or drop or go to a level that isn't you or that compromises you because that's not fair no is that okay I'm masculine. See. It is hard when you know that you know that you know. Because then you're like, what do you do? You gotta be the bigger person and walk away. Which is hard. I get it. But one day, you're going to get tired of sacrificing, missing out, having to be left behind, you're watching your friends, family, everybody have fun, enjoy time together, and you're stuck. You're tired. You're tired of missing out. For what? This is what I keep hearing. For what? Maybe that's when it's time for you to decide your worth and get off those roller coaster feelings. Because everybody gets those times where, like, Everything's chaotic. Nothing seems to be going right. You guys are like, fine, screw it, whatever. You gotta split up, and then everything cools down. And it simmers. And so you guys get back, and you're like, okay, well, we're getting along right now. It's cool. No arguing. No putting hands on each other. And you just, but you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Don't do that. I know you love this person. Insatiable, uniqueable, and wanting more. Which it does. Especially when there's drugs or whatever, whatever, whatever else involved. It's easy. But look, and now, what brought you to this video? What made you have all this that's going around? Today. Today needs to be the day. No matter how hard it is, 
no matter what you're gonna have to start going through just to get where you gotta go like today today tell yourself that today even though it's raining today even if it's like the littlest step today or if you find one after excuse after the another still make steps because every little step of change or every small change just doesn't happen overnight so be patient but continue to put things in motion don't stop and it may be raining so what okay let the rain have it let it be an excuse but then tomorrow get up and continue with that mindset of today's for all this craziness comes to an end because you're the only one that's going to miss out you're the one going to be the one that hurts you're going to be the one and yeah that sounds so selfish and cliche I'm not a selfish person either, okay? No. Don't! Fucker. You gotta let it be a lesson learned. Are you okay? He just knocked over all my arms. My room's almost done. I just, my mom keeps adding more stuff in here and I'm like, ah. Sucks. Like I said, it's going to be really hard to let this go. But maybe God really is trying to bring in something better. And who cares if God's trying to bring in something or somebody better? Why not just think of you? I know that's selfish, but it's okay to be selfish sometimes. <coughs> Bye-bye. Don't get yourself in trouble. Don't. Because if you did Look here, Snitch French. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Maybe you guys have already gotten in trouble. And maybe you guys are on the cops have gotten called and blah 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 like end it now I promise you end it now because what will come next is not worth it so if I were you let it go you want to let it go before you're made to let it go and make a choice don't be made to make a choice make it on your own no don't wiggle your butt and try to jump up here. I'm glad that was not going to do that. I'm sorry. You guys should see my cards now. It's a mess. Don't. Ooh, I got these with my legs. 
drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. And how I've been as homeless, overjoyed, and smiling. But it's in reverse. It's gonna suck. You don't know. I wouldn't want to either. But your future and what is that's gonna do and could hold you back from isn't worth it. So really, it's not even worth keeping because he's always going to put you in a third party, regardless. Commitment in reverse for a long-term relationship, he'll never be able to commit to you. And everything through everything that he's showing you, except for his words, is telling you that. Cricket silence, no in action. Because he wants you to. He's waiting for you to. Because that's how they hook you. Denial. So I don't know about y'all. But. It's poison. It's toxic. Projected. Future days, weeks, and months. It may take you days to get over him. Weeks to get over him months, hell even years. But let it take itself out. Stop leaving that offer open. Because it's in reverse anyways. Your synchronicities is telling you. One one one, two two two, three two three. Um Infinity, um, something to do with your family in inner circle. Maybe you need to lean on them a little bit more. Who knows? If you got family, take advantage of that. Don't lean on them so much that you become dependent, but start, start trusting and leaning on your family more. You're set the man. Your time's running out. Crush that book and feeling of them. You're going to feel that for a while. Settlement, agreement, and compromise. But it doesn't mean all because you agreed and found a settlement or whatever. It doesn't mean you guys have to be together. It doesn't mean you have to go back. Because they want you to stay single, divine feminine. God's going to give you financial support. Stay plugged in. If you got children, He's going to pause it to give you some time. Keep track of everything. Turn that. Just don't get stuck on that hamster wheel. Wish and go after your dreams. 
Because if you don't and you stay to the other, then my life and reconcilable differences, the gossip, showing up whenever he wants, popping in and out whenever he wants, it's time for cleansing. A little vacation hideaway for maybe you. That's what the card's saying. I'm not making it up. Realization is. It's just obsession. Unexplainable pull. You can't resist. And it's going to be like that, especially when there's other things involved. But you know, you're being watched and focused on. You got past together. But it was a forbidden love. Somebody was pretending and faking, anyways. Here's your intervention. Your entrapment, if you don't, is going to be pregnant. There's going to be more triggers, the love affair. The verge about to reveal, confess, but you're stuck with this anxiety. Even though you know everybody is talking about you behind or in your face. Get on the same page with yourself. An unconditional love yourself. The enemy is going to be threatened by you, by who they are, when you start standing up for who you are. You're a pressure cooker waiting to happen, but you're going in waves. You're lockbox feeling trapped, closed in. But you have every proof. Even though you don't have physical proof, you have enough proof. Desire. Lockdown. Searching. You're stuck back. If you continue to let him access granted, all you're going to end up is racing, runaway avoiding, Coming together, reconciling, spiritual union, soul contract, lost. And you will lose it. Because you allowed yourself to stay focused on a bunch of... An idiot. Who didn't even give two shits about you. That's where this reading went today. I should end it with a positive, honestly. I think I might just do that. Because I don't really want to end it on a bad note. But take heed to what I'm saying. And yeah, they're just stupid cards. But I'm also telling you what's coming up in my spirit. So, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. It won't be for all, for one person. It may even have just parts, bits, a couple pieces. Either or. I would be careful with the night life. <laughs> We're gonna do the angels. This is your angels want you to know. Mm. Well, was. 
41, 42, I see on the book, so that could be a snippet. If you see that, then this, I would pay attention. Spend some time with God. Things aren't going to make sense, but they will. Base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to uh, direct your home. Describe your home, career, finances as your words determine your outcome. So that's real. So I'm not saying it's easy by no means. Flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritual base romantic relationship. Not no unevenly yoked fool. He's just gonna treat you like a fool next time. Parents, like I said, your parents. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. Your angels are helping you heal from the pain associated with your mother and father. Your chakra. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both eternal sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Oh, in a situation, your divine feminine. And pull them on, we're gonna be done. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome. So, choose a what you will, but I promise you. It takes one mindset to make a change. So, so to you, make that change. Nobody else. A woman will leave her spouse if they're abusive seven times before they actually take the initiative to really want to leave. I'm not saying you're being beat on. I'm not saying we're, 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 we're. I'm just saying. Sometimes sticking around isn't worth it. Especially when you're the one, is the only one that's going to be missing out on everything. If he's not compromising anything, why should you? You know what I mean? Just a thing. So, 
I don't think that happened when I was over my phone. Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. And I am thankful for each and every single one of you. Maybe, maybe this shouldn't be it. Maybe I should do your inspiration affirmation. I look like you're going to need it. I need it, honestly. That's what it really is. I love those affirmation cards. And sometimes it's good to even just do affirmation by yourself, you know what I mean? Sometimes that's all you need. There's a little bit of affirmation. Sorry, guys. So, so. I am strong. I am worthy. I am enough. My feelings are valid. Today I will enjoy the small moment. I overcome fears by following my dreams. As my brother would tell me, you can't be a pussy forever. All right, I have the power to create the life I want. You do. Stop believing a lie that you don't. Anybody's got some natural home remedies for some fleas, that would be cool. Like, it just doesn't help. Anything is not really helping. I hate it. Okay. <clears throat> I am in charge of my life, of my own life. Today I choose to be happy and I focus on positivity for the better me. One more. Two more. I am thankful for me and my abilities. Because God grant me the certainty to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Starting the day off with a positive thought can change my entire mindset. And even when you're upset, I am going to forgive myself and free myself. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks.